Hi everyone, it's Donna and I'm here with the second video today and this one is all vintage laces, linens, runners, uh, vintage textiles. Uh, up first is, um, and I forgot to say this at the beginning of my last video, that the instructions on how to order are in the description box below. Um, you will need to send me an email and I'll put my email address uh, down there as well and, and on the screen here. There is a $5 minimum, although this doesn't apply to this video because everything's over $5, but the last one, um, do, it does apply. I do ship internationally uh, and my prices do not include shipping. And as things sell out, I mark them sold down below so you'll know what's available and what is not. Um, and well I'll say that when I get to it. Um, up first is Lot O and Lot O are I put together seven grab bags of vintage laces. Um, oh and stay tuned at the end of this video to see what I have left to go through that will be in future um, future bundles and grab bags. Um, <clears throat> but I was only working out of a couple of my bins uh, for this, some of the recent stuff that I've got, uh, you'll see in the at the end of the video stuff that I have accumulated over the years. Um, but these are, for the most part, the same. And I'm going to go through just one of them so you can, and I'll tell you what parts are the same in all of them and what will be slightly different. Um, these grab bags are $12 a piece. In every grab bag, let me start with the stuff that's going to be the same. In every grab bag, there will be one hanky. Um, these are the ones that I showed in the haul video um, that have, this one doesn't, but they have, most of them had Irish lace uh, sticker on them. It'll have a hanky, it'll have a, an embroidered napkin with crochet around the edge and a pretty um, embroidered pattern on there. They all have two yards of this little um, cotton lace here. So you get two yards of it and this I've been dyeing this and it, and it dyes in coffee stains really well. You'll get um, a yard of this yellow scalloped organza trim. You'll get a yard of this little delicate trim. You'll get a yard of this eyelet trim. You'll get um, I don't know if this is a yard, I think it is, of this trim here. And then this is where it differs. You'll get two small doilies. Um, these will all be different. You'll get two small doilies. One of them will be kind of a lace, lace doily and the other one will be a tatted little tatted doily. Isn't that cute? So you'll get two small doilies. Oh, you'll get a piece of this rusty gold kind of colored um, lace. And then every grab bag will have a piece of crocheted lace. There are there's different designs. Um, I tried to give get uh, give as much as I could, the pieces are in different sizes. If the pieces are too small, I put two two pieces in. So there'll be some crochet lace in there. There will be some of this Alençon corded lace in different different styles. And then there'll be some other miscellaneous pieces. This one has Oh, I think they all have this this one. Yes, they all have this one. And then what will be different will be some kind of 
um, collar or this is actually two cuffs with the pearl pearl buttons on them collar cuff some kind of um, lacy clothing and then a piece of this also now um, they don't all have this brown there's all different ones it'll be different in, in every grab bag what the lacy lacy piece will be so that's one of the grab bags and that is lot O twelve dollars now let me get this out of the way this is going to be difficult to show because the rest are lot P I have four of lot P and they are bundles of doilies graduating doilies from really large down to down to small let me come out because I'm going to start. All right, now for lot P and lot Q, um, I only have since I only have four. If you're interested in more than one, send me your order of preference. That way, when you order, if you I don't have the one you really want, the first one, then I'll go down the list, and um, you'll be you you have a better chance of getting one of them if you tell me your order of preference. If I say it's not available and then you haven't given me anything else, by the time you respond back to me, your second one will probably be, be gone as well. These tend to go pretty quickly. Um, hold on here, let me get let me get set up. I'm gonna go from biggest to smallest. Okay, lot P1 starts with um, and these lots are $22. P1 starts with this one, which is about 17 inches in diameter. It has this lacy one. Maybe this isn't the best way to show it because you can't really see the design. Let me see. All right, I'm going to move that off to the side. It has this. Well, that's not much better because of the, the pattern. This lacy one with purple in the middle. This very antique one. It has this really pretty design. Very delicate, very lacy. Okay, I gotta show this one up closer. Because this one's definitely antique. And that one's about 11, 11 and a half inches. Uh, P1 also has this one. It has this one. This one in the pine pineapple design. Now, these laces and linens are antique or vintage, so they will have some flaws. Um, I didn't put anything in that was really badly uh, flawed. Like this one has a couple of little stains here. This one's linen in the center, crochet around the edge. There will be some discoloration. We're still on lot P1. This one is yellow and purple. It has this one. It has this one that is gold and black and yellow. It has this this one's a little bit discolored in through here, but very um, the kind of drapey kind of kind of doily with pink around the edge. And then finally this one. That was lot P1. Alright, let me see if I can do this so that I'm not getting all discombobulated here. Hold on. 
Alright, P2 starts off with, whoops, this one here, very large, it's 15 and a half inches. It has, oops, wrong side. No, that was the right side. Has this one here that's kind of ruffled around the edge. It has this open, almost eyelet around the edge. It has this one I have had in my stash for years and I've never used it. So I decided I would go ahead and include it. It's linen with crochet around the edge and it has beads all the way around the edge in different colors. There's, there's brown and blue and red and yellow. So it has beads all the way around the edge. So that is in P2. There's another one. Pretty design. This one is cream and pink. Has a little discoloration. There's a little hole right there, I see. This one is has some some wear. This one has one of the pineapple ones. This has this one. It's very very drapey. It has another smaller pineapple one. It has one of the purple and yellow ones. It has this one here. This one is just a pineapple shape with pink, light pink around the edge. This yellow, different shades of yellow, yellow and kind of orange, variegated. And then a little pink and, pink and cream. Oh, it goes this way, I think. Pink and cream. So that is P2. Uh, okay. P3. I apologize. This video is going to be is going to be long. Whoops. P3 starts off with this white one. Come on. This white one is 13 inches. Oops. This is really, really pretty, pretty one already in that tea stain kind of color. That one's about the same size, I think. This one has this really delicate linen in the center. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I had a tickle in this really fine uh, um, work around the edge. It has this this one, uh, I wish I had a piece of paper to put behind this. And you can see there's a there's an angel playing a harp in the center of this one. It's probably hand colored, I would think. There are the wings. There's the harp. And there's her head. Has <clears throat> that one. And that one is 
about 14 inches across. This one has this one. This is more kind of an oval, an oval shape pineapple. You can see the shape of the center. It has this linen with um, tatting around the edge. It has this one. This one has oh, this one has a little bit of damage. I didn't see that before. It has this one. Oh, that one has a little bit of damage too. This is like two two overlapping layers of red with a little bit of touch of silver. This would be good for a Christmas Christmas journal. Yeah, this one does have a couple of bits of damage. This one has a pineapple doily. Has this really delicate, very vintage, vintage doily. It has this one, pretty design. It has this orange and different shades of orange actually, variegated. And it has this one. This one looks very antique. So that is P3. Remember to send me your order of preference if you want more than, if you're interested in more than one of these. So you have a better chance of getting getting one. All right, let's see. All right, P4. Oops. Starts off with this large one. <clears throat> this one is 19 inches across. I think this is probably the biggest one, biggest one I have. It's so that's in P4. Also in P4 is this one here. Isn't that pretty? That's this is also that drapey kind of drapey kind of doily. This one has this doily which is all tatted. You can see that? It's all tatting. I am parting with it. And I've had this one for years too. I have some even prettier tatted ones that I am keeping, ones in my collection, but this one I'm going to I'm going to share. This has this big yellow pretty pineapple doily in yellow, variegated. That one's beautiful. It has this one here, which is also a form of um, pineapple doily. It has this one with linen in the center and crochet around the edge. It has this one. This one has a little bit of damage on the couple of little holes in the linen part, but the crochet part looks looks good. There's a little bit of a separation there. It has this one. It has 
this one. It has this one. It has this one. It has a pink and pink and cream. And it has a one big pineapple piece. So that is P4. All of the P bundles are $22. And let me know your order of preference. All right, now. Q, I have two lots of Q. And these are um, $15. They are mostly runners or different types of, of linens. Um, this one as well, I only have two lots of Q. So if you're, if you want to get one, tell me your order of preference. Okay. And well, these are all, hmm, hold on. Let me start with the biggest well, not necessarily the biggest, but this one has a an oval, kind of a lacy, crocheted runner that is 15 inches. This one was in that last bundle. It's it's unfinished. It's got one missing, but you can cut these apart and use them. How am I going to do this? I'm running out of space here. It has this pineapple one, and this one is show somewhere. There's a stain right there, and then there's some staining down here. But this is perfect to cut apart and, and use in your projects. It has this piece. A runner in the pineapple style. It has, this is a, a very large, very large one, and it's that drapey, what I call a drapey, drapey style. I don't know if there's a name for that. If there's a name for this, let me know. It's kind of a net, but it's very, very drapey around the edge. And you can see how it how it hangs down. You can make tassels out of that. And that is let me see what's a that's a big one. That's it goes off my board, so I think it's 24 inches across. And it's in, in perfect condition if you actually want to use it on a table. And then Q1 also has this piece here. This looks very antique. These little, these are, well, I thought maybe there was something inside of these rings, but no, it's just really thick. Oops. Oh, I thought I hit the, hit the off button. It's just really thick um, threading around the circles. And the last piece in Q1 is this smaller piece here with four, four doilies on it. Four, yeah. So that's Q1. And Q2. Hold on, let me get set up here. All right, Q2 has this large piece here. It's a very open pattern, kind of a kind of a pineapple pattern. It has this one here that is kind of discolored, has a lot of age discoloration, but it's very very vintage. 
can see the discoloration but it's beautiful it's beautifully aged There's a pineapple piece that was, I guess, intended to go over like the back of a chair, maybe, or on a buffet. This one has kind of a drapey, a drapey piece in it, too. Very open, open pattern. This is an oval that goes off my board, too, so it's... 20, probably about 26 inches. It has this piece here that probably went on the arm of a chair. I guess that would help to come out all the way if I'm showing something big with the pineapple pattern. It has this piece here with the four doilies and a little flower. And it has that piece that I showed in the haul video with, I'm not sure what it was supposed to be, but it's yellow and purple variegated with purple variegated flowers on the top of it. see the flowers. Not sure what this was. If anybody has any idea what this was, what its intended purpose was, I'd, I'd love to hear it because I have no idea. So that is Q2. So if you are interested in any of these, uh, let me know by sending an email and give me your order of preference as well. And stay tuned, I am going to tack on to the end of this video um, a video I did showing everything I have left and everything I have yet to go through to determine what I want to keep and what I want to sell. So stay tuned for that and bye for now. Hi everyone, um, I am here. I just want to show you what I am going to be working on this week. Aside from the um, grab bags or the bundles that I've already put together that you saw today, I have all of this left. And I'm going to show you a little bit more detail. My plan is this week to go through everything I have and decide what I want to keep for myself for my own projects and what I uh, I'm willing to share in um, bundles, hopefully next weekend. Um, so far, I've gone through some of it, and that's my keep bin so far. Um, I have a feeling I'll be adding to that and filling that up, but um, this, I pulled out everything that I had in my craft room that I've been using for my journal covers. This is one of the bins with... Um, lots of net lace, all net laces, and some I haven't gone through and, and categorized yet. Um, this is a pile of all collars and clothing pieces. These are some more miscellaneous um, linens. I've got a couple of pairs of crocheted um, gloves. This one was made into a sachet, sachet. I don't know if anybody's interested in that, but um, I'm willing to part with that. There are all of these trays at this end of the table are all trims. All different vintage trims. There's one, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine trays of all vintage trims. So I'm going to be sorting through all that and then there's some more probably in those um, bins over there. Um, there's some... I've started putting things into categories. These are all like eyelet laces and some Battenberg and uh, crochet and filet. Um, 
that bin, that bin, and this bin are all from my craft room. So I'm going to go through that and see what pieces I want to keep and what I'm going to um, put into grab bags. There's some colorful stuff here. I, th I have another one somewhere in, on this table of a little crocheted teacup. There's a pink one. I think there's another one somewhere in these piles. Um, this stack here is all kind of fancy things that I'm probably going to sell individually. Um, down here is a bin of, there's several fillet tablecloths that I've been cutting up and some other pieces that are I'm keeping for uh, using for snippets. They make great snippet bases. I've got a bin of hankies bunch of hankies here. This is a bin of trims that I have lots of. Um, it, most of what you see in here was in the, or a lot of what you see in here was in the um, grab bags from today. Um, let me come around here. And then these bins are all miscellaneous piles of stuff that I need to go through and see what I want to keep and what I want to what I want to pass on uh, more in here more table runners and crocheted embroidered things more Battenberg doilies I have a whole box of dark laces either some lots of black and brown and dark brown and this is another bin of miscellaneous pieces that I need to go through. Um, this is this is my go one of my go-to piles. Well, all three of these are my go-to piles for when I'm making my journal covers. So that's my job for this week to go through all of this, kind of sort it out into different categories and pick out the things that I want to keep and then I will be sharing what is left hopefully that's hopefully it's a lot left uh, with all of you in a future future video hopefully next weekend so wish me luck I'm gonna have fun playing with my pretties this week and hopefully sharing with you bye for now I'm back I forgot to show you this box here this is my personal collection. I need to find a bigger box because it floweth over. Um, and I will show you someday soon um, what's in this box. This is my, my personal collection, things that different places that I've discovered over the years that I, I really liked or, or were different or unusual or very old. So. I'll be showing this to you in a future video. I need to find a bigger box, so how did that um, Taco Bell commercial go? I think I need a bigger box. So, bye for now.